Okay, let's look at uh, torsion pendulums. Really, they're, they have more in common with a spring mass system than a physical or a simple pendulum, but they are called uh, torsion pendulums. And so we have some sort of elastic material. It could be metal or plastic. It could even be a spring. But instead of stretching it, we're going to twist it. And so if we twist it, it will want to come back to where it was. It will overshoot that and go back and forth, back and forth uh, in simple harmonic motion. And if we twist it and measure the torque it takes to hold it for a given angle in radians, we can make a graph. And that graph will be a straight line as long as we don't uh, twist it too much. And so if it is a straight line, then we see the hallmark of simple harmonic motion. We have a restoring torque, not force, but restoring torque uh, that is proportional to the displacement, which would be the angle that I twisted it through. So if we want the period for a torsion pendulum, we can think of the generic period equation, inertia over the force constant. And since this thing is rotating, the inertia would be the rotational inertia. And the force constant is really the torque constant, which would be the slope of this line. And that has a name, uh, kappa. It's, sometimes they use different things, but that's the typical one you'd see in a textbook. And slope is the force or the torque constant. So I get the equation for period of a torsion pendulum 2 pi square root of i over kappa. And since torque equals I alpha, then the torque would be kappa theta. That's the equation of this line. And a great fraternity to, or sorority to join, tau kappa theta. And we know from the uh, physical pendulum example, uh, if A is omega squared x, alpha is omega squared theta. And so I can replace um, both sides here. Uh, that's the torque. That is uh, the angular speed squared, or the um, angular frequency squared times theta. That's alpha. So this is torque equals I alpha again. And the theta would go. And I can solve for omega, which is the square root of kappa over I. And that equals 2 pi times the period. You can solve for the period equation that way. So two different ways of doing it. If you practice both ways, you will be very competent at uh, deriving these equations for period, which you may be asked to do. So let's look at a problem very similar to the web assign. It takes 0.11 Newton meters to twist a spring 100 radians, find kappa. We use a slightly different font, but that's supposed to be kappa. And so it's just the equation of this line. We're assuming 0, 0 here. And so kappa would be the torque over the displacement. And so I was told the torque and the displacement, so I get 0 0.0011 Newton meters per radian. And now we're going to attach a one kilogram solid cylinder to it. And the sil solid cylinder has a radius. And we twist it and release. What's the period? And so we just write down our period equation. And I is the rotational inertia of a solid cylinder that would be given to you, 1 half mr squared. And then we figured out what kappa was already. Maybe they won't ask you to find kappa, and they just say the period. So you have to know to do this part first. And so we have kappa. We can put in the number, and it comes out to 3.6 seconds.